Hello, my name is Ima Asunye. I am a field work linguist and a visiting research scholar with Linguistics Department, University of New Mexico, USA. My research interest includes sign language documentation, sign language linguistics, and communication disorders. For the past four years, I've been working in the Nigerian deaf community seeking to document the indigenous Nigerian sign language and to sensitize about newborn hearing screening and early intervention program and to sensitize the families and the community members of deaf children towards bridging the communication gap. In 2014, my wife and I founded Save the Deaf and Endangered Languages Initiative, a research-based organization with over 50 volunteers, passionate with the vision of documenting the Nigerian indigenous um, sign language and the deaf population. In 2015, our studies revealed that 71% of deaf girls in school dormitory in Imo State, Nigeria, were diagnosed with sexually transmitted diseases. And 70% have been sexually abused. And the parents of these girls had no knowledge of this because they cannot communicate with their children. Consequently, we launched the Stop Abuse of Deaf Girls campaign. In 2016 and 17, we found out that only about 1.8% of parents and family members of deaf students in Lagos, Abuja, and Imo State can sign. Consequently, we launched the Coders and Parents Must Sign campaign. Later in 2017, we identified a group of deaf adults in the popular Abuja Deaf Center who communicate only in the indigenous or local sign language and are literate are not literate in any other sign language or any other language. What do we want to do? We want to document the indigenous Nigerian sign language and provide a technology-based innovation for its transmission and deaf literacy. Phase one. In this phase of our project, we will video record indigenous Nigerian sign language used in Abuja Deaf Center, which we believe represents the in, uh, different dialects of the language. We will do a complimentary recording in one of the core northern states and in the southwest, both of which have a significant deaf population. We will adopt and adapt the modified Swadesh uh, word list version to record a, a corpus of indigenous signs, targeting up to 7,600 words and expressions. We will annotate the video and the metadata for online upload and archiving. We will create a user-friendly sign language app that will work in both large and small devices, including personal computers, tablets, and smartphones. Phase two, we will upload several short videos on YouTube with open access for distribution to deaf individuals, families, and deaf schools, especially in the rural areas we, with no internet. We will replicate the software app onto hundreds of regular SD cards for phones and tablets and burn several CD and DVD plates for schools and relevant government offices. Phase three, we hope to leverage on our collaborative relationship and ongoing sensitization forum with families, schools for the deaf, ministries of education, and the Nigerian National Association of the Deaf, NAD, to intensify sensitization on the need to teach deaf children in their own indigenous signs using the technology innovation. With our proposed early intervention program in place, our deaf and hearing volunteers that can sign will work with families and have deaf babies and infants to introduce the indigenous sign language to them. This is the summary of the three phases of the documentation of indigenous Nigerian sign language and the enhancement of literacy development of deaf children in Nigeria through technology-based innovation. Thank you.